contributors Ari Fleischer and Laura Trump. Laura, uh, Eric was on last night, and my understanding is that when this raid happened, and it was a raid, that the president's lawyers were there, and they were not allowed to accompany the FBI. Uh, I am not sure about the security cameras, uh, Sean, but, but it is my understanding as well that no one was allowed to accompany them uh, throughout the time that they were in Mar-a-Lago, you know, kind of going through any and everything, as you've laid out tonight, um, that they wanted, taking whatever they wanted from Mar-a-Lago. Um, it, of course, was a raid. It is ridiculous for anybody to call it anything other than that. I don't know what you call a bunch of people unannounced breaking into your home like this and taking whatever they want for themselves. That's exactly the definition right there. Um, but I want to go back to something that Mark Levin pointed out. The fact that anyone is trying to claim that Joe Biden had no knowledge of this is crazy. If you believe Joe Biden didn't know that his Department of Justice was conducting a raid, and yes, again, a raid, on a former president of the United States, and I'm sure you believe, and leprechauns and tooth fairies. Obviously, we know Joe Biden has a history of lying. Obviously, that must be trickling down to the entire administration at this point. But the fact that the FBI, I think this is something else that's very upsetting to the American people, has been focusing their time and energy and resources on this when we have a fully open southern border. How many terrorist people on the terrorist watch list oh, have come yeah. over our southern border? Heck, we have an entire country that has been taken over and by terrorists. How about China trying to infiltrate America? Yet this is where the resources are, Sean. And I'll tell you what, we know why. It's because nothing is scarier to these people than Donald Trump as president, except Donald Trump as president in his second term in office. All right, let me bring up an issue. I, I quoted you last night on this show in a tweet you sent out. They better have the goods here. But you even chronicle in your book, look at the three years of never-ending lies by the media and by the deep state and their abuse of power and their corruption and their, their FISA abuse. It goes on and on. They lied to this country for three years and nobody ever corrected the record. Not once, Ari Fleischer.